With SV Jader, you can control color transitions effortlessly. Let me show you how easy it is to animate gradients on this chameleon illustration. Let's start with this blue shape. Go to the Color Properties panel, click on the Fill Color, then choose Linear Gradient. Next, adjust the orientation of the gradient by dragging its endpoints here on the canvas. Then, from the Color Selector panel, choose a color for each point. Now let's go to the next shape and repeat the process. Choose the Linear Gradient and adjust the endpoints. Let's add a third color for this gradient here in the middle. To do so, hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard, then click on the gradient bar. The third color point also appears here in the panel, and you can change its position as you wish. I'll leave it in the middle for now, and choose the color for the first point. I'm looking for a warm pink color, to be in tune with the colors from the first shape. Next, for the second point in the middle, I'll go with a yellow. And finally, for the third gradient point, I'm looking for a pale red color. Now that we have the gradients all set, let's start animating. With the shape selected, go to the animators list and choose Fill Color. Then drag the playhead one and a half seconds on the timeline, where the second keyframe will be added once I change the gradient properties. From the color selector, I'll change the first color point to a light and glowy green. Then for the opposite point, I'd like to replace the orange with a nice purple color. And for the middle point, I'm going for a neon turquoise color to make a smooth blending between the other two colors of the gradient. I'm also going to move the middle point closer to the head of the chameleon. Then I'll scale the gradient by dragging this end point further away, just like this. You can see that all the changes I've made were recorded in this second keyframe, creating a smooth transition between the gradient colors. Now I'm just going to set a third keyframe at the end of the timeline, which will actually be a copy of the first one. Just press Command D on the keyboard to create a duplicate. This way I'll have the gradient returning to the initial state and also resulting in a smooth loop animation. For the other shape, I'll choose Fill Color again and drag the playhead at 1.5 where I'm going to apply the changes on the gradient. This time, I want the colors to simply swap. To do that, just click on the reverse button here. Then, as I did before, I'll duplicate the first keyframe at the third second. That's it. This is how you can create color animations in SVJader. Follow me on the other videos to discover more interesting features.